between the shore and the island, and the Confederates had placed a battery on a barge. Uh, and uh, it, 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 the, 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 that channel aimed straight down the river. So if anything's coming up the Mississippi River, they could run that barge out. Okay, three inch oh, yeah. ordnance so rifle. Uh, Fixing the blow. I am the guy. Excellent work, guys. Get the badge. That'll be a, literally a blast. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, it's going to be impressive. <laughs> it is. Attention to the people! Okay, boys, let's give them hell. Clear the vent. Stop the vent. Vented. Round up. Vent. Vented. Pick and prime. Clear front! Fire! 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 Ordnance rifle, a three-inch ordnance rifle. It's it's rifle. It is has a range of probably about a mile and a half. Man, and it's, it shoots solid shot, okay. shell, and canister. And canister. So the shell is a, a, a pointed affair that runs down the rifle. Shell is or basically just a ball? A, is a cast iron ball uh -huh. filled with black powder. And it has a fuse. All right. So when the, the and you can set the fuse for one to five seconds. Mm -hmm. So the blow by from the, the charge that sends it downrange ignites the fuse, and downrange it bursts in the air, air over the heads of the infantry. Okay. Right. And so it was invented by a guy named Shrapnel. Okay, so that's where the name comes from. And then solid, it has also solid shot, which would be used for fixed positions and or anti-artillery. Uh -huh. And then canister is made out like a can made out of imperfect 69 caliber musket balls. So it would be like a packed with sawdust. Okay. So it would be like a large shotgun. Oh. And you'd use that at close range, anything mm -hmm. from point blank to like up to 300 yards. Mm -hmm. And again, the longest range on that would be up to. Uh... With the canister? No, no, of the of the, the solid right. shot would be like about a mile, a mile and a half. Man, man. A maximum effective range. Effective range would be like around a mile. Okay. All right. And uh, this particular cannon is a replica. It's this is yeah. This is made by Steam Cannons, made in Kentucky. It's, it's one of the better made cannon makers here in the United States. And, and to get into one of these units today would cost approximately. To get into the, the reenacting today? No, no. To get to buy that cannon today. Oh, to purchase something like yeah. that today? Oh man, that's over thirty grand. Over thirty grand. I'm sure of it. It's around twenty-eight thirty. But if you want to uh, forego the thirty grand and come out here and get involved with the reenacting. Really, artillery is pretty easy because with there's cans already available, you just mm -hmm. to be a crewman. Mm -hmm. Really, just a uniform is necessary. We mm -hmm. we have you know all the implements, gear, the everything else. It's just basically you know a uniform. Whereas like infantry, you need leathers and a rifle. Yeah. You know, we could just step right into it, <laughs> and, and you'll get your training right here on the job. <laughs> oh, definitely. Yes. Yeah. We had definitely had some new guys yesterday come yeah. out for the first time. Bring some earplugs. <laughs> That's all you need. That's a big cannon. Definitely your place, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thanks for all the information. All right, thank you. And your name and rank again? My name is Daniel Leandel, First Sergeant of the 2nd U.S. Artillery. Very good. Thanks, Daniel. Thank you.